Good afternoon, this is Darren Benson with Performance Motor Coaches. Happy New Year, we're happy to bring a 2020 show hauler. Uh, this unit picked up last week over New Year's Eve, brought it back. Uh, this unit is 42 foot from front to back. Uh, show haulers, if you don't know much about show haulers, are fully welded steel frame. They are uh, totally customizable, custom floor plan, custom amenities. Uh, of course, this one is a stock unit, it's unsold try to display it the best as possible through this video. Uh, we'll start with the, the chassis itself. This is a Freightliner Cascadia 113. Uh, this was a little bit shorter hood. You can tell by the inlets right here on the little bit shorter hood Cascadia. It's equipped with the Detroit Diesel, the DD13, which is 12.8 liters. This is 505 horsepower and 1850 torque. It is equipped with the Detroit transmission, what they call the DT12 which is great for hills, great for pulling. Uh, my preferred transmission over the Allison. It has the fiberglass cap, which gives a little bit more aerodynamic look. Uh, this coach is loaded with options. There's not many options you couldn't stick on this coach. Uh, I'll just do a few highlighted heated tile floors. We have a tile shower, side swing baggage doors, have the Gerard rooftop awnings, uh, three ACs, the 12.5 generator, the Oasis Hydronic Heat. Um, we'll try to show each one of those as we walk, walk down the side of the coach. Uh, nice heavy duty entry door. This is standard now, we brought this on a few years ago, but this is a standard, very robust, very solid entry door. Uh, of course, it's fully locking, fully automatic locking. So you hit a key fob or the keypad here, and it will lock the entry door, it will lock all your baggage doors, and then we wire it into the cab as well. So it'll Lock the cab. Um, so you see all the side string baggage doors, which you have to go to the side string baggage doors if you want fully locking. Uh, lots of storage down here. Nice outdoor TV with a sound bar. Uh, all the TVs are 4K Samsung smart TVs. Uh, this is prepped for an outdoor fridge, a freezer there. Kind of run down the coach. Uh, large baggage door right here. We like to do this where Essentially, it's one baggage compartment with two doors, uh, just a little bit more elongated storage there. Uh, tandem axle, which is pretty much a must for a heavier coach like this. Uh, we've built some coaches that were single axle, uh, really about 27, 28 foot. Conversion length is really about all you want uh, in a single axle. Anything above that will start to uh, push the limits of the rear axle. In the rear storage compartment we, here, we have this is the Oasis Hydronic System. This is a 50,000 BTU boiler that's set up to heat coolant, and then the coolant is then dispersed throughout the coach as a heating element. Um, this particular unit is tied into the motor itself, so the waste heat from the engine will keep the system warm driving up and down the road. Uh, of course, there is, a, uh, there is your domestic heat or your domestic water that runs in the system right here to heat uh, your domestic water. So the nice thing about this system, driving up and down the road, you'll have a warm coach, you'll have warm water. Uh, while you're at an RV park, you can plug in, you can use the electric portion of this to maintain your coolant temperature. Uh, or if you're boondocking or just want additional heat, uh, there's a diesel fired burner here that will heat all your coolant, keep the coach nice and warm. I come around the back side. This is something that I'm pretty proud of. This really, really heavy duty ladder here. Most of the ladders that they put on motorhomes are, are death traps, in my opinion. Uh, I've broken many of rungs, and generally you break about right here, and you stop once you get to about right here. So really proud of this heavy-duty ladder uh, that's available on, on all the show hauler lines. Of course, the heavy-duty hitch. Um, the hitch itself is rated at 40,000 pounds. The two-inch receiver below is rated at 8,000 pounds. However, the 2 and 5 16 ball assembly up top is rated at 30,000 pounds. So whether you're flat towing a vehicle, which you can pop right there, or you're towing a big stacker, uh, you won't have any issues whatsoever. There is a 50 amp plug on the back of the coach. So a lot of, the, a lot of those will be, will be referred to as a buddy plug. So if you had a trailer or had a friend somewhere that wanted to be able to plug in and run one AC, uh, I'm sorry, one generator, you could do that and just be able to operate this coach an additional coach or trailer. Tons of really nice LED uh, security lights on the outside. Of course, there's a 
rear camera, which is pretty much standard on all show all our units. We'll move over here. This is the first wet bay. Uh, show hauler does a really good job at providing ample storage if you have bath and a half or two baths. So there's a 72 gray, 72 gallon black back here for the rear bath. And then we'll have the similar setup up front. Uh, the only pressurized water that runs below the floor in a show hauler runs to a little spigot out here. It's very easy to uh, turn that valve off and then you have zero pressurized water below the floor, which is great for really, really cold environments. Uh, the tanks themselves are heated. Uh, we'll 12 volt heaters on there. We'll do good to down to about 10, 15 degrees. Anything beyond that, we would need to take extra measures to heat the, uh, the waste tanks. We'll come down the coach here. Uh, lots of lights, of course, they're not turned on. Do some nice little side guide lights if you're trying to maneuver in a park late at night. Uh, more storage. This is the second wet bay. So this will serve the bath and a half and the kitchen and the washer dryer. So 72 gray, 72 gallon black right here. Up front, we have the generator. Uh, really happy at the position the show hauler puts the generators. Um, some of our competition places the generator in rear of the axle. So you drive down the road and it sucks all the rain off the road, all the dirt off the road into the generator. So this is great to have the placement of the generator right here. A lot, lot less issues and problems having the generator midship in the coach. This is kind of the utility bay and battery bay here. Uh, this is just set up with uh, just regular six volt golf cart batteries. Uh, really pretty impressed. I stayed in this coach three nights. Um, I never ran the generator. I was able to drive during the day and maintain enough uh, battery voltage overnight to run the hydronic heat, to run the inverter all night long, which then in turn uh, ran TVs and such. So pretty happy to uh, go overnight. So for those, those of you that think you need to spend a lot of money on battery banks, if you have good, good nice you know, new batteries and a nice uh, solar panel up top, it does a good job. This is actually set up with 380 watt panels up top. I'll run down the coach here. Fuel tank, really easy to get to. A single 120 gallon fuel tank there. Uh, def tank right there. Very easy to get into the cab itself. Um, whether you're big or tall, doesn't really take much to get in and out of the cab. Very, very easy. Easy to see down the side of the coach. We'll do an additional video of us driving down the road. We just kind of wanted to show how easy it is to step in and out of the cab. There's plenty of grab handles and such anywhere you might need. Um, the door panels and such. Um, of course, we talked about the fiberglass cap there. Um, the cabs themselves, I generally like to order the cabs to color, and which means um, so the basic color on this cab was silver. Uh, the issue that you fall into with taking a white coach is uh, the high production paint facilities that go through these units. They paint them rapidly. They paint 50 to 60 coaches a week. And if you're way picky the way that I am, uh, you'll open up doors and you'll see overspray on the edge of door panels. Uh, this particular unit right here, they didn't paint the door jams at all. They run around the very edge. You can catch this. And I have them taken, tape this off. So that's the where your paint stops and starts. Just had a lot of issues when they go do full body paints and do a lot of crazy colors into the cab. You'll see paint everywhere, places you don't want to see. That's typically why you see most of my stock coaches will have minimal paint work into the cab. Uh, there again, uh, with this being a silver cab and not being white, what's painted, you'll see, you'll see used coach, older coaches, this start to shrink up around and you'll see the white lines around that. Uh, that's something that I've uh, tried to do all along whenever I do a painted coach, just one extra step. Uh, to kind of make their coach look newer and nicer two, three, four, and five years down the road. We'll go ahead and step inside, go all the way around. Um, you can see those nice rooftop Gerard awnings here. Definitely just kind of makes the coach look a little bit sleeker, hides all the air conditioners and uh, all the stuff up on the roof itself. and then we'll take and get swapped around a little bit. Um, 
So very usable coach. Everything is very easy to get to. Uh, great layout. Um, of course, all the furniture is all custom made to each individual show hauler. If you have certain preferences as far as uh, furniture, it can be swapped out after the fact. We've done large couches. We've done double dinettes. We've done uh, recliners. So as far as furniture goes, that's pretty easy to swap out after the fact. So, so if somebody has a particular preference, very easy to go through. Uh, this entire coach is spray foamed. All the walls and the ceiling are, uh, they use a closed cell foam insulation that's sprayed in there at the factory. So this coach is excellent properties as far as keeping the, you know, uh, warm in the wintertime, cool in the summertime. Uh, the roof itself is a one piece composite. It's white in color. So you don't have that heat radiating off the top of that. Uh, there again, does a phenomenal job keeping the coach warm and cold. Um, all the woodwork in this is a caramel stained maple, uh, very high end cabinetry. All the drawers themselves are all dovetail. I don't know if you can catch the edge of this. Uh, dovetail drawer construction, not stapled. Even your higher, higher end diesel pushers will all have stapled construction. All soft close. Um, there again, all of the cabinets can be customizable. If you want more drawers, if you want more cabinets, anything is totally customizable. I try to make sure I have every single unit built with a nice pull-out trash can. It drives me crazy when you walk into people's motorhomes and they have trash bags tied on to handles and such here and there. So that's just something else we try to do. Um, nice backsplash. I picked out all the colors in this. Uh, I think everything flows well. Uh, nice, you know, common colors, not think, not, nothing too wild and crazy. Uh, the backsplash looks a little crazy in some of the videos and the photos, but it, it's pretty calm once you take a look at it. Uh, nice blue sapphire granite countertop. Granite countertop on, on your dinette as well. Um, that's kind of my preference. We can do convertible uh, dinettes, so you can use that for additional sleeping. It just kind of, they rattle driving up and down the road, so that's my preference. But a ton of storage on both sides. There's storage underneath here as well. Pull outs on both sides. Of course, all the storage above and such. All of the heat registers in this coach are below the toe kicks, so you really don't lose any space to any of the heating on board here. Uh, nice residential refrigerator, a uh, little bit better looking refrigerator than some of the units that you see out there in the market. Uh, nice usable unit, uh, very easy to access. And we will take and swap spot so I can go up here in the cab. You can see this large fiberglass cap opens up the cab immensely. It brings a portion of the cab into the RV. Uh, we can actually take and turn these seats around and use these as, as additional seating for the coach itself. Uh, large 43 inch TV, of course this has in motion, has surround sound, uh, Bluetooth and such, but I don't know how much of the dash layout you can see here, but everything is very, very accessible, very easy to get to. Uh, nice aftermarket navigation system there that serves as your backup camera as well. Uh, Bluetooth capabilities, satellite radio, but everything is very easy to operate. Um, because it's the Freightliner Cascadia, I think there's about 800,000 of these on the road. So if you have issues with the truck or with the engine, there's so many of them on the road, it's really easy to get service at any Freightliner dealer. We'll take and swap again. We'll head towards the back of the coach. So we prepped this unit. I'll leave this one closed just so you kind of see through here. This is a stack setup right here. It's prepped for washer dryer. We could easily add a washer dryer after the fact. If you want to take and pull all these out uh, and just do additional hanging closet, it's totally convertible. It can be made however you want. Um, nice heated tile floors. So there's dual zones front and rear. And in fact, in this coach, um, you can maintain temperature, pretty cold environment solely off of the heated tile floors. Uh, just nice whenever you get up at night, uh, first thing in the morning to have that heat radiating off. Most people run those about 80 degrees. Like I said, does a good job keeping the coach nice and warm and it's nice and toasty on your feet at night or in the morning. Uh, large bunk bed across here from here. Uh, these are 80 inches long. So if you have full, full size adult kids or whatever, uh, they're very accessible, nice and easy to get to. Um, every place you sleep, every place you sit down will have USB plugs integrated to your 110. There's a central back down below here. 
Um, we will attempt to do this little small half bath, which uh, is a decent amount of room for us for a smaller bath. Uh, tons of storage. And even at the risk of looking a little goofy, I'll show you, you can actually sit on the toilet and close the door. There's still decent room. I'm 200 pounds, about six foot one, so there's decent room inside this bathroom. Uh, but a nice little addition just to not have to share your master bath with your guests or maybe your kids. We'll continue to walk back here. Uh, this is the master suite. Some water to catch up. Master suite back here. Uh, this is a 66 wide bed. A lot of people get confused or get hung up on king, queen, whatever. Uh, basically, you have three different sizes in the RV world as far as beds. You have a 60 inch wide, you got a 66, and a 72. Uh, I personally sleep on a on a king size mattress, uh, which a king size mattress is going to be 79 by 80. Really and truly, a 66 does a pretty good job. Still gives you a fair amount of room. It's some additional room. Doesn't not quite as bad as going down to a queen size. So this is kind of my preference in RVs. It's a 66 wide bed. Uh, so st still a fair amount of room. Uh, nice walk around on the, on each side. Um, we'll look across here. All cedar lined closets here. Little storage back behind the TV. The TV will flip up. Uh, this is the little bit deeper bed slide. Uh, this is my second unit with a deeper bed slide they've come out with in the last few months. Uh, makes a big difference. When you're walking through, you're going to really jog around the bed. Makes the bedroom feel a little bit bigger. Uh, definitely easier to get to your closets, make the bed and such. We'll come here to the back. Let's hit this. That's the second zone for your heated tile floor. So this bathroom rack right here is 41 inches in depth. Uh, still a pretty good size room. So you can sit down on the toilet. You got ample room around the toilet. Uh, nice vanity. I like to uh, have this area right here extend all the way out. Uh, females will like this because they can lay out all the digits and gadgets and whatnot. Uh, as opposed to some of these that are just cut off right here. That limits the amount of countertop space. So uh, that's my particular preference. But definitely a lot of room all the way around. Uh, the reason why I prefer the vessel bowls, uh, I like to wash my face in the winter time as opposed to taking a shower at night. It gives you a nice big collective bowl to be able to wash your face or if you got larger hands and not make a mess all over your countertops. Um, I'll go ahead and step in the shower there again so you can kind of see how big that I am and how much room I have in here. This shower is 36 inches wide and 41 inches in depth. Uh, nice two, nice two built-in shower insets. There again, if you have lots of shampoo, lots of conditioner, you can set all those into place. Um, you'll notice overhead here, there is no skylight. Um, from a service aspect, that's the first place to leak. That is the place that's going to get the hottest. So um, if your wife's getting ready and she's putting her makeup on and she comes out of the bathroom and her upper lip is sweaty because she's been sweating, that's a major, major deal. So I try to eliminate all those out of the master bathroom. It just, it's a bad idea. It's been a bad idea for quite some time. Uh, of course, that's my preference, but you won't see any skylights in these stock units. Uh, we do put a small little vent in to be able to ventilate for those hot showers, but you won't see a big massive skylight above here. I'll walk through here to the front. See if there's anything that I can think of that I forgot at all. Um, of course, dual fans, ceiling fans, front and rear. There's a small creative breeze fan in this half bath right here for, for some additional ventilation. But all in all, pretty darn happy with this coach, the layout. So we were able to get, uh, with the nine foot cab and the 33 foot conversion, we were able to get a bath and a half. We were able to get uh, large bunk beds. We were able to get a washer dryer set up in a 42 foot unit, which is pretty unheard of. Most of the units uh, that are on the market will be in that 45 foot region. So pretty happy with this. It runs and drives great. The diesel, the Detroit diesel is a phenomenal power plant. Really happy with it. Um, we invite you guys to come down. We have an additional coach in stock right in here, right at the first of the year. Uh, that's in stock you can kind of run and play with. Uh, we welcome anybody who wants to come out for any test drives whatsoever. Make sure you press the like button, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.